There aren't many cars on the roads, but 75 miles northeast of Syracuse, in the town of Lowville, they depend on a different kind of traffic to get through the winter months. Here on the tug, snowmobilers outnumber cars by far. Some serious snowmobilers call themselves sledders. Just being out and, you know, just riding to the powder and it's, it feels so good just, just going through all the snow and just, you just feel free when you're riding on a snowmobile, you know. Each winter, Lewis County is covered with two to three hundred inches of snow which is transformed into a 600-mile highway system for snowmobilers, complete with intersections, road signs, and speed limits. Tug Hill is transformed into a winter wonderland. We get a lot of people from out of town that come here. We get people from Michigan, Ohio, um, as they said, Rochester, right around New York. Lucas says the tremendous amount of snow that Tug Hill gets keeps business steady at the Mount Agulay. Snowmobilers come out full force. As you can see, the economy is, is good. People are still gonna do the sports that they wanna do. And you know, these are some shorter trips that they can take, you know, um, and we just really haven't seen that hit in the economy right up here, at least not this year. We've just been coming up here for years. Really? Yeah, 20 plus. Where there's snow, people will run. I mean, this year's been, it's been a great year for snow. But the heavy snow season only lasts a few months. Then the wind picks up. The economy switches from gas guzzling snowmobiles to going green with renewable energy. Nature plays a huge role in the economic development of Tug Hill. Good afternoon, Ridgeview. How may I help you? The owner of Ridgeview Motor Lodge, Tracy Miller, says without snowmobilers, business would suffer. But in the spring, it's the mineral workers who keep them well up and running. They reserve 20 to 25 rooms and keep us very busy right from April until December. According to PPM Energy, the Maple Ridge wind farms are worth $4 million and power over 100,000 homes. Lowville households are not directly powered by the windmills, but private landowners profit about 6000 a year. Retired farmer William Burke compares his crop to his favorite cattle. It's the best cow we have in our barn. It's, it's one that doesn't need expenses. It's one that doesn't need a veterinary, doesn't need electricity, doesn't need a place to lie down. It just doesn't need expenses. Wind and snow means money in pockets. In Lowville, nature stimulates the community. Heavy snow and wind are Tug Hill's greatest recreational assets. It allows people and businesses to enjoy the perks and profits that nature has to offer. In Lewis County, Ashe Smith for ABC News.